Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our bacon and eggs run here on Elm Creek. And uh, it's been a little while since my last episode. Uh, obviously, holidays got in the way, and then I had some personal stuff come up, so I was not able to quite get back and start recording episodes quite as quickly as I thought I was going to. Um, so there was a little bit of a gap between the episodes. I apologize for that, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys are still around and still sticking out and uh, excited for the new episode. Um, I did a little bit of stuff while I was sitting here kind of trying to remind myself where I left off. I went ahead and just kind of smoothed some of this stuff up out up here. It still gives us a little bit of a hill, but there's not much I can do about it because I'm trying to get rid of the road, quite frankly. I, I was trying to keep the road by like matching the ground up to the road. And even here, you can see there's a little bit of a gap there, which really annoys me. I absolutely hate that the road is a separate entity and not part of the landscape itself. So I'll probably eventually work, work through this part as well. Um, in fact, what if I, let's see here, if I come in here, go to landscape, actually, let me get myself out of the way. All right, let's go construction, landscape. Uh, let's go raise, let's do it like a square. Uh, let's, um, let's actually make it pretty, I don't need it to be very big, but I probably need it to be a little bit stronger, maybe. Not gonna work is it because it's not it's not overlapping enough uh, maybe if i make it smaller and maybe less i just want to kind of hide this bit of the road as much as possible I don't, and it may not be possible actually what might be best would be just to take the, the leveling tool and just level out the road all the way down now that is going to give me a little bit of a hump but i think i can smooth that out um, okay, let's take the smoothing tool now. I mean, I don't mind if the road kind of exists a little bit up there, but I just kind of want to get rid of most of it. Well, I would kind of prefer this to be a little bit flatter, I guess. So now the road's starting to poke through just a smidge there, right there as well. So I guess I got to go back to the leveling tool and Level that part out a little bit again. I mean, we're just poking through a little bit. I do want to be able to drive on it. Um, I don't know, let's see how bad that is. I mean, it's a little bit of a poke through. Uh, and there's a couple of humps right here that I need to probably get rid of real quick. because It's going to be annoying. And I realize it's silly for me to spend this much time on something like this, but it just, it, it bugs me. I, I, I feel like this is almost perfect. And like, it's almost the way I want it to be. Except for just a couple small, um, small spots here, right? And uh, if these spots were just not here, I would be happy. All right, maybe just a little bit of the road poking through is going to be fine. I mean, the road down here wasn't that bad. Whatever. We'll go with something like that. I mean, it's a little bit of little spots, but I think the road's at least a little bit more level most of the way up. And then up here where it gets goes away, I don't, I'm fine with that as well. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is, and it's going to cost us money, but I know we have the train station, but I don't want to use the train station. I mean, that's, I want my own farm. I want my own setup over here. So I think we're going to, to put a silo down to store all of our extra grain. Uh, I mean, I like, I like this one. This one's actually not, Pretty compact, pretty small, and I can kind of set it up off of, on this hill over here, kind of off of where the road used to be. Uh, there is this one. This is quite a bit larger. I mean, massive, massive amount of, of stuff that I could put in that one. Obviously, that one's absolutely ginormous. Uh, and then there's this one back here, which is also very large. Um, but I don't know that we need that. I think I think I'm going to stick with this one, this first one. I think this one right here is going to be just just fine for us. And if not, we can always get rid of it and put a different one down later. So I'm going to put it probably right about here. Is that basically squared off? I think it's basically squared off. So we're going to put this off in the corner over here. Yeah, again, I know it's going to cost us some money, but I'm okay with that at this point. And then the other thing I want to do, and I'm not sure what the best way to do it, is I want to put down one of these things. I wish there was a smaller one of these 
because I just want a walled off kind of flat concrete area. That's really what I want. And this is where I want to put my uh, sugar beets. Uh, I guess I could use this. Maybe even just bump it up against this. Actually, that might not be bad, just coming from that other side. Um, and then I could just paint the bottom there as a, like a concrete. That actually might end up working somewhat okay. Oh, it actually give me concrete anyway. Okay, no, that's good. I'm okay with that. I, I want something that I can kind of just back up in there, dump a bunch of sugar beets, and... Because the sugar beets, you, you, you're typically going to just put those out on the ground. Uh, now, you might have them covered, which we're not going to have, and we're not going to use this as an actual silage silo, but I just wanted a flat, walled-in area, and I think that's going to do what we want to do. Uh, the other thing I wanted to take care of while you guys are here is uh, we're going to come back over to landscaping. I did figure out, somebody did make a comment, and it does look like it does work because I tried it out already. Uh, if we paint meadow on these little bits, I think there's a little still one there, maybe. No. Uh, paint meadow on these little bush bits, then we can actually come back and paint over those again with the gravel, um, and it will get rid of the bush stuff, which is nice. I mean, there's probably other ways to do it, but this way definitely worked. So. And no more bushes there. Uh, we'll get rid of some of the other ones as we kind of go in that area. Uh, I'm okay with some of the bushes around the silos because it's not like we're doing anything else with them right now. But uh, that looks that looks most okay. I mean, this hill might still be a little bit steeper than I would like, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this setup, I think. Um, cool. All right, well, that's that. I think we're ready to fast forward. Uh, we can double check the status of our crops real quick. Just to make sure... Um, Obviously, the crops that we have just planted, which are these two, or I guess three, uh, but we've combined them into two, are got all of their pH, and they also have all of their nitrogen. Now, we did a little bit of pH up here just because it just carried over, but that's okay. And then uh, we've got some yield information because we've already harvested those, seed rates, things like that. That's fine. And then we need to check that nothing else is ready to harvest. It's just not. I think some of these, I think these two are going to be ready to harvest next month, and those are what? Uh, what is that? Potatoes? Potatoes and sorghum? Yep. So I think both of those are going to be ready next month. But I'm pretty sure we're good. Cow, uh, pigs, are, should I say, are okay. Pigs are okay. I mean, it's not very many root crops, but we sold, we gave them straight pig food, so I'm assuming it's the correct stuff, other than the extra grain that we dropped in there as well. Uh, they got straw, and yeah. Let's, let's fast forward. All right, so did pay a bunch of loan interest, as you would expect. I guess I could have paid off a little bit of the loan just to mitigate some of that, but I think we'll be all right in the long run. There's our piggies looking pretty good. Are they fully healthy? They are fully healthy. Got plenty of food still. Um, I mean, I guess the total capacity is really what we're looking at, so that's still green at the moment. That is good. Um, obviously, they're still, but they're only one month of age at the moment. That is all right. Okay, so how are we looking on the harvest? Is it time to harvest? It is time to harvest both the sorghum and the potatoes. So... We're not going to be doing potatoes long term. We're only going to be potatoes right now. So I guess we're going to be leasing that particular machine. But let's before we do that, let's go ahead and get you started on the sorghum. Oh, I guess we're at the edge of the map. Do need to do some weeding as well. All right, let's get you started. Um, weeding. How are we going to do weeding? We're going to do... I guess we'll just do spray. Yeah, I think that's, that's all we really, really want to do. Um, before I get carried away with that, though, let's go ahead and get the potato stuff going. Uh, potato technology, there we go. I guess it doesn't really matter which one we grab. So we'll grab the cheaper one, because it's only going to have to happen once. Are 
you able to drive down to the farm by yourself? Actually, you come over here. Looks like you are. And then you... Uh, I guess it's fine with you. They're both pretty big tractors, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go ahead and send you up to the... Uh, to the shop to be able to pick up our weeder. Or sprayer, I should say. And... Honestly, for a sprayer... I think we'll just grab one of the ones that attached to the back. Uh, wrong thing. Sprayer. There we go. I don't think we need a one that we pull behind us. These other ones are honestly perfectly fine. 24 meters. I think this one goes a little bit wider, doesn't it? Yeah, this goes up to 28 meters. We'll go ahead and grab this one just full full width. Uh, and we'll do this weed spot spraying. And of course we need some weed. Uh, uh, herbicide, I should say. And we might need the front attachment. I mean, once you get rolling, it really doesn't take that much herbicide to really get everything going because, you know, everything's managed properly and you got the camera sensors there, so it's only weeding what it needs to. So I think we'll start with what we got and we'll see how that goes. Um, let's go ahead and get that cedar off of there. Sorghum's already done. That did not take long at all. As you would expect. All right. Um, do we need to plow that field? It does not... L oh, yes, it does. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the plow ready. Make sure you don't plow something I don't want you to plow. We'll give you a little bit of a border here. <laughs> you almost, you tried to be sh sneaky there, doing the wrong field. But I was watching. Right, we got the sorghum dumped in here, and that should be, oh, there we go. There you go, piggies, more. Is that that one counts as grain or the other one? I can't remember. I think that counts as protein, doesn't it? Or base food? Was that base food? I forget what what did I write down? Let's see here. Yeah, base is either corn or sorghum, so that counted as base. Cool. This ginormous harvester is definitely makes things quick. All right, so you are here to go pick up the herbicide. Sorry, little blue car.
Uh, I guess you need to do 76. So we'll just bring you about here. Cool. Done. Uh, you're plowing. You are potatoing. Good stuff. And then once we get the potatoes done, obviously that will need to be plowed as well. And uh, we are going to be putting, I believe, corn on that one. So I put sor uh, canola on 76, right? And then what was I going to swap for that one? I think 77. Right, I was going to flip-flop those. I think that was the case. So, uh, so it would be 74, 75 and 77 for corn so these these three right here are for corn all right so that'll be fine uh obviously we're gonna get a little bit of corn from these and once we get those done those will also be canola as well and then barley over here and this teeny tiny one will be sugar beets well it won't need to be sugar beets for a while because we're gonna get quite a few we're gonna get plenty of sugar beets and potatoes from what we're doing right now so it'll be quite some time before we actually need to do anything with sugar beets especially with only nine pigs at the moment i mean we're, again <laughs> those are gonna those are gonna grow you know organically we will need to lime this potato field as well All right, got you going. You are just confused, but that's okay. Love you out here a little bit, buddy. When would we plant sugar beets? Not until March. And I don't know if there's any reason. To, I mean, I think we will go ahead and put some sugar beets down because why not? But I mean, I'm sure at some point we will just stop entirely. Well, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this because I mean, I don't want to combine this field with another one right now um, because I think that would. Uh, We'd eventually want to turn it to sugar beets, but I don't want it to just leave it empty here, like with nothing on it. So we might, what could we put on here that would be worthwhile? I guess whatever's on the field next to us, which I guess is going to be corn, I believe. So we might just do corn on here just for now. All right, that is done. Um, looks like it's good to go. We'll get you fold up, but you will be coming over here to the potato area and plowing up that up here very shortly. I also need to grab a trailer. So let's just drop this off here. Go grab our trailer to come back and pick up some potatoes. When will our sugar beets be ready? Um, potentially next month. Something tells me we're going to have more potatoes than we know what to do with as well. There's not any contracts for potatoes, are there? Grass, wood chips, furniture, and corn. That is it.
Let me help you out a little bit, my friend. Fortunately, that potato field's gonna take a little while to finish. Potatoes are slow. So are sugar beets. That's why I'm glad we don't have to do that many of them. All right, I should cover both of those fields. Let's double check. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Weeds. Uh, turn. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Uh, yep. Yeah, both fields look good. And then uh, here we'll see, obviously we need a pH 75 once it's done. And I guess we need to do 81 as well. We'll go ahead and get that done right now. I'm trying to think of where I want to put this. Let me just dump it over here up against the wall so I don't fall over or something silly. What are you doing? Why are you being weird? Alright, let's go dump these off with piggies. Alright, little dude, you are... I, I appreciate you going after this other field, but 
We will do that one later. We can only hold 34,000 total food. Hmm. Interesting. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the potatoes. Um, I mean, I do have... That over there is supposed to be for sugar beets, because that's what I'm going to be doing long term. I guess I could set another one of those down just somewhere for now. As like a temporary storage for the potatoes. Hmm. Honestly, I might even just dump them like right here in the middle of nowhere. Just, just have a place to that has them, and not even stress it right now. We're going to have so many potatoes. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll finish up the potatoes, or I'll have some of it done between episodes, something like that. And uh, we'll get ready to fast forward to... Uh, what's going to be next, actually? Well, like I said, sugar beets, probably. Um, corn, maybe. So both of those might be coming up here very soon. So we'll see what comes up next. Um, as far as planting, we are going to be planting. Corn's not till April. Barley is not until... Oh, it's actually right now. So we do want to plant some barley. Oh, that's right. Barley was on the field that currently has... What is on that field? Soybeans. So we were hoping that the soybeans would be done next month, just in time to plant the barley. So that would be another one we would do with soybeans. Do we think that's the, still the case? Let's see, uh, go here. Yeah, soybeans will be done next month. We'll be able to plant the barley. Awesome. Cool. Well, there we go. I do appreciate you guys watching. Again, I apologize for being gone for a little while. or having a little bit of gap there, I should say. Uh, but we're back, and hopefully things will be going along smoothly from this point forward. But I do appreciate it. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.